Welcome to the features video of WooCommerce Advanced Product Quantity. Once the extension is installed, go to WooCommerce and click on Product Quantity. Here you can add multiple rules to set up product quantity restrictions. Click on Add New Rules to make a new rule. Add rule title here for future reference. You can select quantity type here from four given options. Set minimum and maximum quantity here. Check yes if you want to display quantities in a dropdown instead of an input field. Check this if you apply on all products. Or you can select products and categories individually to apply quantity restrictions. Select user role here for which you want to apply this rule. Let's make a rule as an example. Select step quantity type. Set minimum and maximum quantity here. We'll set quantity in decimal numbers. Set step number here. Select v-neck t-shirt here. We will leave user role selection empty to apply for all customer types, including guest. Let's go to front end and see how quantity box displays. Let's go to the back end and see quantity settings for per product and variation. Go to products and click on all products. We will select hoodie here, a variable product. Click on variations. Expand any variation to set settings. Check this to enable advanced product quantity. Let's configure custom quantity type for this variation. Add comma, separated quantity numbers here. Please note the custom quantity are always displayed in dropdown for customers to select one. Select user roles for which you want to apply this setting. Let's go to front end and see how hoodie variation displays quantity box. Let's go to backend again and see other settings the extension offers. Go to settings under WooCommerce and click on Advanced Product Quantity. From the configuration settings, you can select this checkbox to display quantity box on listing pages. Select decimal checkbox if you want to enable or disable decimal quantity support in your store. Go to cart quantity settings. From here, you can configure quantity restrictions on cart level. Add minimum quantity, maximum quantity, and steps if needed. You can also add minimum and maximum cart amount to allow checkout. Exclude specific products and categories from restriction calculations. Customize notices to educate customers about cart restrictions. Select user role here for which you want to apply this rule. That's the end to this tutorial. Thank you for watching.